Here you are, sir. Oh, yeah. Let's see, British... British Embassy? Hey, reckon this town's getting important, huh? Let's see, uh, Hubert Wilson Major Rhett. What's Rhett? It means retired. Oh, yeah, sure. It, uh, uh, well, that'll be two dollars. There's uh, pencil and paper right over there, Mr. Uh, did you hear the story about the skin flint who uh, touched off the firecracker before Christmas Eve? Uh, no, wait, wait. What are you doing? And then he walked into the house and told his family that Father Christmas would not be appearing that year. For the truth of the matter was that the dear old gentleman had just been shot. Shot. Good boys, over here. All right, boys, put it right there. Wet. Not bad. Produces hydrostatic pressure of water on the dynamite cartridge. Dear, dear. You see, when one plans a series of these, the idea of producing a progressively intensified shockwave. One of the dynamite charges fails to go off. The series is broken. Only parts of the interior will collapse, blocking off the parts that are not collapsed. Would I be detecting gas in here? Oh, and considerable it is. Better break it off, boys. We'll clear it. Continue tomorrow. Now, what's the blather you're feeding the poor man? The charges I place go off. In wet boreholes? Even under wet bridges. A few gentlemen will excuse me. I have a ranch to run. You'll have to carry your little war on by yourself. You are the man I thought you were. Did you have doubts, indeed? You showed none in the telegram. A telegram? There. I think I sleep with an Englishman aware of me naked throat. Impudent. I can understand how you acquire those scars on your back. Scars? Hey, those are me medals! Oh, you Englishman. You don't see the humor in it, do you? I say medals. And you think, why not? It is where a slave would be wearing them on his back. Where Patrick Madigan is no slave. 
My father and his father before him. They were your Irish footboys. They were your Irish slaves, not I. I never bent but to pick up a cobblestone. And when the redcoats rode in to burn our village, reprisal it was called. One of them came at me on a horse so tall, charging at a small lad with a stone in his hand. A traitor with a stone in his hand. And in the flat of that sword coming down on the lad's back, like a whip, a whip, until I lay in the mud and could not scream of the mud in my mouth. May my brain rot if I forget it. If I forget the salt tears of my mother burning in the wounds as she kissed them. Oh, what you've done to my land. What you do to us each black day. And do you think a million Patrick Madigans will not fight you if it means a million will die? Will we not blast your bridges and bomb your courts and kill your soldiers? And spit into your hearts until we shake the roof tree of your world? Till out of fear and nothing else shall grant us our freedom. Freedom to do what? To break any law just as the thought comes to you? Destroy property? Play with men's lives? A wagon loaded with dynamite. Just because you think that's what it means to be free. I came at you. Obviously. And the four men in that wagon. Did you think it right in the name of freedom to imperil their lives? I've seen men like you in the army. Violent, irresponsible, undisciplined. You're a man who must be ruled. And that's your answer, is it? To all the blood and the weeping and the ache in the heart of us. I'm not your judge. You'll have your day in court. My only duty is to send this telegram. You'll send nothing. And you'll say nothing. Stand aside. Now here's an Englishman without a whip. And not one soldier at the sight of him. And here's Patrick Madigan, who bombed Clerkenwell Prison and Kilmainham Jail, and never felt the face of an Englishman against the back of his hand. change your dream. See that was, huh? You know what the trouble with you is? You just don't know. Too used to being up on that mountain top, aren't you? Yeah. His master's voice. Did you just get in? Well, it was a slow ride in the dark and alone. You and the major still at odds? Well, not anymore. Good. The man came to the mine to see him, a stranger. They spoke a while and uh, then rode off together. Where? They neglected to confide in me. 
A stranger. What do you look like? Oh, two legs, two arms, a head. I was not close. Keep your hands off that bird. Well, he's yours. Well, now you're getting the hang of it. Wish I knew what happened to Wilson. Didn't say anything to you, huh? A few things about my being uncivilized. I believe I mentioned tyranny to him. Nothing about staying in town. Fed wasn't slept in last night. Maybe the man's leading a secret life. Wish you had a better look at that stranger. Well, it's this trouble with my tongue. It's so long it is, it steals the strength from my eyes. off to in such a hurry. He's going to get the sheriff, Nick. It's Wilson's horse. A sheep herder found him near the mine, Wilson too. He's dead, Nick. Probably was an accident. He could have been thrown from his horse. On the other hand, it could have been... Could have been the stranger. Maybe. This was found on him. It's a copy of the telegram that Wilson was sending to the British Embassy. Madigan. Now, there's no proof of that yet. Well, it was Madigan. It's all my fault. Where do you think you're going? Just take one guess. And what will you do, Nick? Go out and hog time and bring him in? Just have some $2 lawyer cut him loose? Or maybe you'd like to string him up by his thumbs till he says exactly what you want him Yes, to. I just might do that. And that would be exactly wrong. Now, I say we play for time. We simply say that the Major was killed in a riding accident. Now, that'll give the Sheriff and us time to check around. If there was a stranger, believe me, he left a trace somewhere. Mm. Meanwhile, what about Madigan? He's staying with us. He has to feel safe. And he could be innocent, you know. <laughs> Just be sure you keep a watch on that hair trigger of yours, Nick. Now, the Major was a good man and a good friend, but we don't want blood for blood. All we want is the one who did it. Mm -hmm. 